let's say we are given a linear optimization question like this. How do we change this into an objective function and set of inequalities? Let's try to figure this out. You should first carefully read what it means. First you see this profit and if you read the end it says uh, maximize profit. So this question is about maximizing profit. Let me underline that profit and uh, you're given some conditions. Now you have to keep in mind that whenever you read a linear optimization question there is an objective function which you either want to maximize or minimize. In this case they tell you to maximize it. And also there are many conditions on the resources that gives you restrictions to what you can have. Now the easiest way to turn this into set of equations is to make a table. When you make a table, first think about the variables and because we're trying to solve this, it's always the case you'll have just two variables. In, in general, you could have several many, but uh, you're never told to solve such a question using, uh, using just calculators and uh, just paper. Uh, if you have more than one variable, that would be a question for Excel. So just always expect to have an X and Y. And these are the ones that you have to figure out in order to maximize the profit. So these are like the free variables. Okay, so first identify the free variables. In our case, you see that there's a trail mix and protein bars. These are the ones, so box of trail mix bags and box of protein bar packages are the two free variables. And basically the question is, uh, how many of each boxes do you have to make every day in order to maximize profit? So it's really about figuring out what the X and Y are, where X would denote the box of number of box of trail mix bags, and Y will denote the number of box of protein bar packages. All right, and then uh, you have you want to write down the conditions and uh, in this case the conditions are about the resources. You have finite amount of resources so there's a availability here. And there's the av available quantity here and each of the resources cannot be more than certain things. So let's read on. So uh, it says to make a box of trail mix bags one kilogram of ingredient A 3 kilogram of ingredient B, 4 kilogram of in ingredient C are needed. So it seems like the resources that are limited, as you can read here, if the company has contracts to buy 48 kilograms of ingredient A, 64 kilograms of ingredient B, and 62 kilograms of ingredient C daily. So clearly the ingredients, ingredients, ingredients A, ingredients B, and ingredients C are the limited ones and the limited availability every day is about 48, 64, and 62. These are the limited availability. Now, to make X, you require one kilogram for ingredient A, three kilogram for ingredient B, and four kilogram for ingredient C. And then you go on to fill this column. Sometimes the wording is given so that you fill in this direction. So you have to be careful what it means. Uh, make sure that when you fill this number, it is related to ingredient A. If, uh, if it's talking about ingredient B, never, never fill it in here. It has to be in the ingredient B one. Okay. Um, to make box of protein bar packages, four ki kilograms of ingredient A. Uh, 4 kilograms of ingredient B and 2 kilograms of ingredient C are needed. Okay, so these are the ones that's are, that, that are available and now let's think about the objective function. What is the profit? So for each box of X you have $40 profit and then for each box of Y you have 65 of profit. I'm reading the very first one. Uh, yeah. So that's your objective. 
your objective function is about maximizing this under this condition. Now, so we made this table of restrictions, and, and then once you make the table, you can easily write them as inequalities as 1 times x plus 4y less or equals to 48 because the maximum you can use is 48. Uh, this is where you have to be careful. Sometimes this column is not about availability, but uh, it could be the lower limit. It could be uh, sometimes the words are like at least uh, it must be over. If you so see those words, if it says at least 48 kilograms or if it should be over 48 kilograms, those words indicate that uh, the inequality should be reversed. Here, uh, these are just limited resources, so the inequality is all in this direction. Okay, so just write down 3x, 4y, and then availability is 64, and then uh, 4x plus 2y, the availability is 62. Now, in addition to this, uh, you usually have your x and y as physical things, so you can never be negative. So you have this additional condition that x, y is greater or equal to zero. So that is uh, something that usually uh, is there. 